My fellow Americans, I'm Robert Morrison. I'm the Liberty Party candidate for President of the United States. A new book, Dewey Defeats Truman, is all about the stunning election upset, upset of 1948. Too many people think that race was all about personality. Yes, Thomas Dewey did look like the little man on the top of the wedding cake. And yes, he was a cold fish. But Harry Truman didn't just out campaign Dewey. It wasn't all give him hell, Harry. Here's what Harry actually campaigned for. He pledged everyone should have the right to a decent home, the right to an education, the right to adequate medical care, and the right to a worthwhile job. And of course, Harry Truman stumped for civil rights at a time when civil rights were being denied in too many states. All of what Harry f fought for was what Franklin D. Roosevelt offered the nation four years earlier in his 1944 State of the Union address. Both Roosevelt and Truman won their elections by standing for high ideals and true principles. I know why we don't have the second Bill of Rights that Roosevelt and Truman fought for. I was a young Democratic candidate for the New York State Legislature. I was for all those same things that all Democrats in those days favored. But the reason we do not have the second Bill of Rights, the right to decent housing, Medicare for all, and a worthwhile job, is because Planned Parenthood took over the Democratic Party. That is why I was run out of the party. That's why 50 years later, the last pro-life Democrat was run out of Congress. That was Chicago's Dan Lipinski. The power of Planned Parenthood's billions of federal and state monies allow it to raise millions of dollars for pro-choice candidates and defeat pro-life ones. And because of that stranglehold Planned Parenthood has on the Democrats, no opposition to abortion on demand can be tolerated. Vice President Joe Biden says he will bring back the Franklin Roosevelt's policies. But Vice President Biden opposes Medicare for all that Roosevelt and Truman favored. And the Vice President has dropped his 43 years of support for the Hyde Amendment. That pro-life law said Americans of today do not have to pay taxes to kill Americans of tomorrow, the unborn. Now, Vice President Biden will tax us for the deaths of millions. He will force little sisters of the poor to dispense lethal pills that kill unborn children. He will violate the consciences of tens of millions of Americans by forcing us to pay for abortion. Vice President's abandonment of his decades of voting for the Hyde Amendment shows the power of Planned Parenthood, that death star. Unless he gave in to them, he could not have survived in Democratic primaries. This is why there were Reagan Democrats. Reagan was pro-life and anti-Soviet. This is why millions of us and tens of millions of us felt abandoned by the Democratic Party. Trump claims to be pro-life, but that's phony. He shovels billions of dollars to Planned Parenthood, and his cruelty and viciousness toward everyone make him the worst man in the country to carry the pro-life banner. We are forming the Liberty Party. We want to pursue the policies of Roosevelt, Truman, and JFK. They never said a word about killing the unborn. They never gave any support for overturning marriage and they certainly never favored sex changes for nine-year-old boys. We respectfully ask for your support. We believe politics should be about high principles and true principles. We, at, we seek to make America just again. I'm Robert Morrison. Thank you for listening, and may God keep you and the ones you love.